India is a land of the Mahadev, Lord Shiva. Shiva, who epitomizes his love for Lady Parvati in the form of Ardha Narishwar, the third gender. India has always embraced what is unique, what is different. But it is only today that we are caught in a web of distrust, a web of claustrophobia and a web of oppression. It has always been our proud pride to be able to embrace and celebrate the difference. It is Pride Month and in this Pride Month it is our pride at Twinkle Thomas Food TV to send out a message to the LGBTQ community that we are with you. You are not ostracized, you are not marginalized, but you are unique, you are different and you are special. To celebrate this, I am going to be welcoming in a very special OTT today. My OTT is special because she epitomizes all of this. She is unique, she is special, she has risen above being marginalized and ostracized and she represents the LGBT community as a trans lady. My OTT today is Shuman Poddar who has changed herself from a male identity to a third gender that is a transgender identity. But before I welcome her, I would like to say a few words about the LGBT community in the words of Michelle Milford. The poem is real. It talks about some very real issues that these people face. Proving myself worthy has been futile. You still see me as flawed. I am real. My love is honest, not just a word, not just an emotion. Love is real. New safety nets are up, fears of more rejection. Time to part ways. Loneliness is real. Time is short. So many distractions. Struggle to stay focused. Pain is real. What, dri what drives me to keep living? How long will it save me? I want to keep loving you. Be loved by you. For real. Every issue that these people face are very real. So let us find more about such issues, more about such a person and of course have some fun cooking something in the Bong Mom's kitchen. So without much ado, let me welcome my special OTT today, Shuman Podda. Shuman, welcome to my show. Namaskar. Namaskar. This is Shuman, Shuman Podda. Shuman is a trans lady. She is a very accomplished dancer who has traveled across the world. Uh, you are a um, trained Odishi dancer yeah. and a Bharatnatyam dancer. And a Bharatnatyam dancer. And uh, Shuman has traveled the world, been to Latin America, you've been to uh, Northern America in places like Sheetal, yeah. and then you've been to uh, Europe also? Yes. To France? Yeah. To France. So wonderful. So uh, when I say Mosi Biyokhi Medhi I am sure she'll be able to understand what I'm saying. So uh, um, let us just try and find out. Um, and tell me, Shuman, uh, this journey of yours, when did it start for you? Uh, basically, it starts from my childhood. Okay. Um, after that, when I realized that I'm not a proper boy, okay. I am a transgender. Like, my body is like a boy, 
uh, biologically a boy but, but you emotionally my emotion and my soul is like a female so you 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 are a person who's embraced your female side more fully than what we we are we as an individual are able to right um, i would say that is your uh, thought process isn't it yeah there's mainly because uh, uh, my family is very con- conservative okay. and uh, there is so many female uh, and because my uh, father and my elder uncle is uh, Uh, only male person in my family and uh, my grown up in between those female who uh, make want to make their self like their self okay. so you've so been influenced by uh, women my, yeah. who are who are uh, creating their own identities yeah. and that has helped you uh, to make myself more fem- uh, feminine so, okay so you've embraced your female side idolizing these people who have had strong influences on you while you were growing up as people who are setting up their own identities yes wonderful wonderful so we'll have more conversations like yeah, this while sure. we do it um, what are you cooking for me today uh i'm cooking a um, bengali dish it's called uh, lawar kofta so law is basically um, your bottle guard and uh, kofta uh, is basically uh, is is a riso um traditionally it came from the middle east uh, the name kofta uh, traditionally comes from the persian word meaning kofta kofta uh, basically means to grind uh, when uh, the uh, the traditional kofta was made it was always made with meat Um, like shuman is making it um, in uh, as a vegetarian item it's only in india and our obsession for things vegetarian that we have we yeah, started definitely. making making things which are vegetarian but like i said kofta uh, comes from the word koftan which means to grind from the ground meat that was used to make the balls incidentally the one of the most uh, common fast food today that we have which is momo is a cousin of uh, the kofta because it's also a meatball uh, so uh, basically so let's come back to what you're cooking so you i see you've uh, boiled and grated uh, some amount of the uh, it's a smash uh, lauk you've mashed yeah. the gourd yeah. i see a little bit of red chili powder it's a kashmiri uh, chili okay i see a little uh, bit of black uh, pepper black pepper bay leaf some whole garam masala khada khada yeah. masala like your uh, cardamom and uh, cinnamon no. and clove yeah. i say a little bit of sabu jeera which is your whole cumin mm. it's this a ginger garlic paste ginger garlic paste some green chili chopped chopped and, and this is a paste of uh, onion green chili and tomato how much did you use um i used uh, a medium size of uh, two onion two medium size two onions two medium size of onion and uh, one tomato one tomato medium size medium size okay and uh, uh tasted or uh, what you uh, how, how much as you want as has been tasted you can add chili chili okay yeah, and little bit of salt this will cook a portion for how many people two people three people four people um you can use for four people four people so roughly we'll have about um, 8 10 of uh, yeah how much guard was used to make this amount of mash uh one one whole yeah one, one whole. big sized one big size wonderful so this is it so uh, let's not waste time i also see you got some uh, gram here which is your besan yeah it's helped to make <coughs> this kofta tight yeah. and uh, stuck i got you i got you i got you i got you so let's start let's not waste yeah. time you okay at first uh, make it ready Okay. After that, uh, we can. Uh, okay. So let's get this over here, so that you can get that started off. I guess the hands are the best way to make the balls. <laughs> you yeah, you cannot think, use but, the. Uh, can you please pass me that? Thank you. We need some water also, no, I guess. I Not right now. Yeah. Okay. I use that ginger garlic paste, uh, one spoon. Okay. Okay. Some red chili, uh, green chili. Okay. Mm. 
salt salt and some chili powder So, uh, in this uh, avatar of yours as as a trans, when how how important is makeup for you? Do you feel more um, effeminate when you are when you make up, or you, 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 even without it you feel? I, I'm just trying to understand your mind space about it. I hope you don't mind. No, no. Trying to find out for me and for for our viewers how how is it that you. Uh, create no, your identity it's just a outfit okay. it's just an outfit it's just an you outfit. you are, you are the woman in yeah, itself right because, uh, okay women do make up to make themselves more beautiful prettier prettier right so also we so whether irrespective of whether you are in in a makeup or so that is where you differentiate yourself from a cross dresser right a uh, cross dresser is a totally different thing is is just a person who dresses it's is, just a person who dress uh, who want to dress like a woman it's all there, there, there's, there's no, nothing in his in his or her mindset no, or no, in her emotional nothing, nothing, space nothing, nothing, nothing. so whether you are in a male outfit or you, or a female outfit your thinking your thought process is that of a woman first of all i'm very comfortable in saree okay like you are right now <laughs> and looking very and, pretty and uh, the another thing is um people can wear uh which one uh he's very uh he's they are comfortable they are comfortable right so there's nothing different between that uh, men outfit or female outfit what you want to wear tell me one thing you you were saying that you are you are a dancer and um, uh, how much has dance been important in in defining your gender identity um do you think you would still have moved into this kind of an identity if you were not into dance and you were not exposed to the roles that that you, when we were having a discussion you said that you started off with with one uh, drama uh, yeah. that you started off first not as you didn't have a plan to do become a dancer no, but I then went on to become I want to do become a dance uh, I want to do dance but my family didn't support it because I told you my family is very conservative yes. so they didn't support any dance but my family also very cultural because my father is a um, fine art uh, fine art artist okay. and um, my mother is a very good uh, tailor she can do anything yeah and that's why i uh, learned all those things from my family okay yeah so in terms of dressing up and in terms of fine fine genetic. things about fine arts yeah. okay and we are very authentic traditional family in central kolkata so we have that culture okay to how make yourself pretty okay. and beautiful a perfect female okay so my grandmother and my uh, aunties they told me that uh, the fine senses yeah. of how to the nuances yeah. of dressing up uh, they they just grow, uh, grow me like a female they didn't okay. treat me like a male a because boy. so, so this was they are all female no i'm i'm saying that this is uh, that they inculcated it into you or they supported you when they saw that you are showing feminine tendencies no no not like that uh from my childhood i'm very much uh, effeminate a feminine okay a uh, cute okay and uh, that's why they treated me like a girl okay so this is more or less ready right yeah. right now it's ready so we are making balls from there we'll keep it here pretty big size balls yeah the uh, there is uh, if you want you can make smaller than this obviously i mean when we are talking about koftas there is uh, one kofta i think called tabrizi kofta which is uh, the size this one the size is this big 
which is traditionally found in, in, in Iran, I think, or Turkey. So, we are ready. The balls are ready. Yeah. So, let's go fry the balls. Yeah. So, let's go boom. And kaboom. So, here is your pan. And you're using white oil. So, let's go wonderful white oil. So, I think the oil is ready. Yeah. So, shall we go get started? We always have to keep that uh, temperature very low. Low flame. Yeah. I'll lay down the tissue so that you can soak up when it's ready to take it off. So how has your journey been as a dancer uh, you, to the various countries that you've been? Uh, I'm sure you've, you've gone uh, in this identity of yours only. No, that time I was a boy okay. and um, definitely a gay boy and uh, my guru Shutapata Lukda uh, told me to grow myself how have your proper. teachers, how have your teachers, your gurus been in terms of accepting this choice of yours? She's very broad minded. She has had no ex yeah. no problems. No problem. That, that is probably one of the biggest boosts that you have got yeah. in terms of your choice. And uh, she's a very good teacher. She's a very good person. So she know everything about me and she accept me as what I am. Wonderful. So when you first started coming out, how was that as an experience for you? I'm sure that there was a huge amount of uh, ridicule, there was a huge amount of, uh, you know, emotional distress that you had to go through at that point of time. Uh, yeah, definitely it is, because uh, the shakiness about uh, that... Uh, acceptance, whether people acceptance, will accept you. How they accept me. Okay. And, uh, but from my childhood, my mom took my uh, self like a girl. Okay. So your mother me. has always been your your pillar of strength yeah. because of which you've been able to take this as a as a as a, as a definite step. I think the koftas are almost ready, right? using a strainer to strain off the excess oil. I will switch the gas. So let's put this off the side and make you go kaboom again. So kaboom and here is your wok to cook. I see you've already taken a little bit of oil on this. Uh, now we need some garam masala. What what we call as foron. Yeah. So you use a, a bay leaf, a tej patta, some two. cardamom, one piece of bada ilaichi, two piece of long clove, and a little bit of cinnamon. Yes. Dalchini. Wonderful. This is your sabu jeera, whole cumin. Yeah. Uh, a half spoon. Okay, whole cumin. Let it brown. Now I add some um, red chili powder. Red chili to make this curry more red. Basically, to give the color to the gravy when you make the gravy. Now 
Now this is your paste of tomato and onion and a bit of green chili as you said. Yeah. You sauteed it till the oil starts separating out, right? Mm. Those stuffs are already fried. Sorry? Onion, tomato and green chili are already fried. Oh, so uh, you first fried, fried it and then made then a paste I out of it. Then I made the paste. Paste, okay. So you made a light saute and then you uh, made a paste out of it. It's just the way that we made the uh, uh, butter chicken then we made we made the paste. We had first fried it up a little bit and then we had made the paste out of it. Jeera powder Salt A little bit more again of chilli Chilli powder You can get the smell coming in It's starting to kick in the smell of the fried spices We need a little bit more oil No when I make the paste, I put some oil because uh, okay. I fried it now. Okay. So, so the oil is a little bit there inside. Yeah. Mm. So who has been your uh, greatest uh, supporter and who has been your greatest inspiration in this journey of yours? My greatest supporter is my mother entire family family okay and my inspiration is my guru okay. guru means um, she within the community within the community okay uh, she's living in uh, delhi okay she's from delhi and uh, she has mentored you handled you in all yeah. of this i understand you lived in delhi for, for about four five years two years two years okay so that's the time when you came in, in touch with her yes and the another inspiration is uh, our Lakshmi Naran Tripathi that uh, Mahamandaleshwar. She is a very strong personality and uh, when I saw her, I think that uh, she is a supernatural power because she got it because uh, her talk, her uh, presentation, her personality is very divine. So it's uh, make my soul and my uh, thing inspired. Now we can uh, add uh, water. Water? Yeah. Tell me how much. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. To make this gravy a little bit richer, we could add a little bit of cashew maybe in this while you're making the grind. Uh, no, cause make it uh, a little bit uh, thicker, thicker and, if you and want richer. To make this gravy a little bit of thicker. You can add this one. No, or, I'm uh, saying I'm making it a little bit richer. Richer. No, uh, you can't uh, need to uh, add kaju or um, any paste that okay. kind of because um, the that make that flavor different. Oh, okay, so this this is this, this flavor will be in its own unique. So we do not yeah. want to add that. Wonderful, just to clarify it. Ah, so you're telling me about Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi. Yeah. So. Uh, Tell us more about her. She's a very good person. She's a very. She's a fine person. She's from within the community. Yeah, definitely. She's within the our community. She is. Mm. Uh, very very much senior person okay. and she has so many knowledge about that kinder samaj that uh, and what does she do week. so uh, she's basically somebody who works with the lgbtq community she's as a, a, as a worker, social worker she's a social worker and she's a mahamandaleshwar a aghori our oh she's an aghori yeah okay. she's our guruma and uh, 
शीज अ सम काइंड ऑफ हेड ऑफ किन्नर समाज किन्नर अखारा नाउ वी एट दिकोफ्तास then you will let it to simmer and pick up the flavors from the gravy right now then yes will you be covering it up in uh, while we are talking about inspirations and and the good things we cannot turn away from the dark side of society what has been your most traumatic experience if you don't mind sharing it with with me um as a dancer we have to go so many places for our performance once i visited bihar yeah that uh, very what i say i have no words cause i can't explain the land of the roots yeah. the land of roots yeah. of bhaiya ji's bhaiya ji's okay and uh, there we performed uh, radha krishna dance at then a 6 years old 7 uh, years old boy a child was pinching radha's this part midriff yeah and uh, um, the girl was shocked and uh, told me that uh, ma they are, and uh, i want to say cause my uh, entire every uh, surrounding my uh, dance group members called me ma okay and they uh, she called me ma look that child in my uh, belly uh, and uh, it's not a good good one it's very uh, irritating okay so i said uh, if i dresses like a very sexy girl or a item dancer you can pin still me, it's, it's provocative you can, you can pin me you can uh, tease me you want to molest me it's granted it's, it's not granted no, no, it's, it's not granted nothing is not granted, granted but, but fir bhi fir bhi there is some choice there ah, calls for provocation yeah definitely but but definitely not radha dresses like a radha is not we are exposing our uh, sexuality or uh, we didn't seduce someone so we didn't expect that and uh, that is a sorry sorry affair of a country where um, it's a very very even even a 6 year old or 7 year old is trying to molest anybody and everybody it's 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 such a such a shame for us it's such a horror for us and it is a cause for concern for something for us to think what are we letting our future generation to become wonderful i think we are almost ready here are we yeah uh wonderful i am getting the smell when it's coming off i'm getting the smell of all the spices that have come up and it's is wafting off it's cooked up yeah it's done So I'll turn the gas off now. Yes. Wonderful. Do we add any garam masala or anything to finish it off? Let it. Little bit of cold, cause that garam masala. If you used, now. you just let it steep in it for a, for a few for few a few seconds minutes. for a few minutes wonderful so very easy way just uh, to recap whatever we did you took one large gourd yeah, and grated it grated it and after that i uh, mashed it up smashed it up and take that water separate water it out okay wonderful uh then what you did was you made a paste I with made a paste two tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, sorry two uh, two onions 
two onions. Two mediums as onions. One you can add uh, add also two tomatoes. Cause okay. depending uh, on tangy or how you yeah, want it. Yeah, it make your uh, curry very um, ready and. Uh, okay, wonderful. And a little bit of green chili in green there. Green chili and salt. Fried it, sauteed it, and then made a paste out made of a paste it. Made blender. So after that, what we did is uh, on the mash, we added a little bit of uh, red chili powder, a little bit of uh, ginger, ginger garlic, garlic paste, paste uh, green, green, green chilies. Uh, and, and uh, this, this uh, basin and gram and, and then you uh, mixed it up made a binding of it yeah. made the balls and then fried it deep fried it deep fried it, it, fried it, fried it, it yeah. set it aside and then we made the gravy, gravy. to make Put the gravy paste. to make the gravy we first added uh, some the foron foron on the oil and oil. then we added uh, the paste and that um, khara masala. Achha, to, uh, the foron ke upar you the added the uh, cumin seed and again a little bit of uh, red chili powder and then to make we that uh, curry mode red uh, color. Uh, color yeah. And uh, after that we uh, added a little bit of water. Water uh, made the consistency how we want it to be, and then we added the kofta, let it uh, steam, steam uh, in in the heat, heat to pick up the flavors. Yeah. And, and after that, we, we added the garam masala. Garam masala and again steamed uh, for that flavor. So we are through now? Yeah. So can I go and uh, taste? Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. So I'll. The color of the gravy. Wonderful. So it's steaming, it will be a little bit of a challenge for me. But what I'll do is first I'll taste it with my nose. When I do that, I get a strong, small, strong smell of, of the paste that has flavors of fried onion, fried tomato, a little bit of ginger garlic paste in it. You have ginger garlic paste in, in, in the, the kofta. Grill? In the kofta. So it is picked up the uh, ginger, ginger garlic paste from the kofta into the gravy also. The taste is a unique blend. Out of that, we are getting a veggie veggie taste which has come out from the kofta. The kofta has been is just soft because it is easily cutting into it. When I eat it, there is just a little bit of crunch from the fry, but not enough because it is picked up the gravy and it has been steamed in. I'm getting a fleshy veggie kind of a feel on my tongue, which is from the guard. If this were made from meat, I would get the mince meat flavor. And overall, the flavors have all blended into it. How do you um, recommend it to be eaten it with the rice, right? Yeah, with rice, with uh, rice, with, with, rice. with rice, uh, with paratha. Wonderful. So a very easy way to make it because essentially the, the difficult part was only making the kofta. Once the kofta is made, everything is is so very easy. But more than the cooking experience, it has been a wonderful experience interacting with Shuman, finding out about the identity of a transgender that we. Uh, people who are not from the community we, we are so not aware of. So all strength to you uh, Shuman for being uh, strong enough to having come out, for having taken this decision of your choice, your preference. Uh, many of us who think what should we do because log kya kahenge? This is what you do. You do your own decisions. You live your own life. Right Shuman? This is only one life. It is your life. It's your preferences that matter. Live it the way you love. You love a man, love a man. You love a woman, you love a woman. You identify yourself with yourself. Be happy with you are. Celebrate yourself. All strength to you. It's a Pride Week. We are proud to support the Pride Week. Thank you for making the Pride Week special in uh, the Bang Mom's Kitchen, uh, Shuman. 
welcome and and thanks for calling me here and i'm very honored to be here and share that cook with you and with your friends wonderful the pleasure was all mine if you uh, liked what we did if you like the interaction that we had if you think that there is more that we need said do write to us uh, our details are just below fill in your comments like share share the joy subscribe if you have anything that that needs to be said if you have anything uh, if you want us to ask shuman to come back to you give us a shout out we'll shout back to you uh, this a so small step help us make it a big one uh, if you want to be on this side of of the camera write down to us but till then till next month be proud of your identities support the people who are around you they might have a different choice they might have a fear in coming out it is your job it is your duty to help your near and dear ones it is for real all they need is your support all they need is your love so give it in real give it in real thank you till we meet next time